Dooley County, one of Central Georgia's smallest counties, and it has 51 cases. We want to separate facts from fear, so Chelsea Bymford takes a closer look at how it may have gotten to this point. Last month, the Department of Public Health hosted drive through testing at Dooley County High School, the West Central Health District reporting its first two COVID-19 cases on March 30th. And just two weeks later, that number jumped to above 50. And that's a lot for a county that's 10 or 12,000 votes. It's a lot. Unadilla Mayor Myron Mixon issued a state of emergency in Unadilla last month, ordered a curfew, and asked people not to travel to hotspots like Doherty County. But Dooley County's infection rate is still about five to seven times greater than some of our larger counties like Bibb and Houston. Then we got a, a major plant down in Vienna, Georgia, one town south of this same county. Tyson, a lot of employees down there. Uh, I don't know if they've had any cases there or not. The processing plant on Pine Street employs over a thousand people. And several of those employees have called and emailed 13 WMAZ alleging that many of their co-workers have gotten sick from the virus and want to know why the plant hasn't temporarily been shut down. Tyson Foods has not confirmed if any Vienna plant employees have tested positive. They tell 13 WMAZ they're not sharing specifics for privacy reasons. Their statement says they are checking team members' temperatures before they enter the facility and are working to get personal protective equipment for production workers. I don't know for a fact what the cases are, but I know this. If you're in a more, more folks, more people, more apt you are to have the, the virus. In Dooley County, Chelsea Vine for 13 WMAZ News. Pamela Kirkland with West Central Health District says the Dooley County Health Department's nurse manager has been working with the staff at the Tyson plant offering guidance and preventative measures per the CDC.